In this episode, we will not talk about Donkey Kong Country. We will talk about Zelda instead. Hello guys, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. This is Levy the Amish Man, the Amish Gamer. In the last part, we completed Floppy Sands, the dreaded barrel level stage, Cannon Cluster, and Stormy Shore. And now we're gonna go to Butthole Bound. I mean, Blowhole Bound. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for not talking much. I was just trying to collect my thoughts here. Um, if people saw on IGN, they did something called, like, Versus. Like, they're versing Ocarina of Time and Skyward Sword. Because everyone knows that people will not shut up about Skyward Sword. Now, I will say this once and only once. But IGN's opinion about it, or the way they let it vote, is... I'm stuck. <laughs> anyway. IGN's opinion and the way it was voted was entirely stupid. Like, okay, you don't let kids vote or people that aren't gamers vote. Because if you let gamers vote, you get Aqua of Time. But apparently that was not the case. They let little kids and everyone else vote. And that resulted in, as everyone will guess, Skyward Sword winning. Everyone disagreed with that. Like, most people who are true Zelda fans and are true gamers pretty much disagreed. And I disagreed all along with everyone. IGN was like, oh, no, we, everyone voted. It's not the people, it's not everyone, it's not us, it's the people. Uh-uh, no, it's their opinion. They're saying, oh, Skyward Sword's the best Zelda game ever and it deserves to be overruled. It, and it deserves to beat Ocarina of Time. No. Just no. Because without Ocarina of Time, you will not have the Zelda series. Kind of like without Kirby Superstar, you won't have the Kirby franchise. And people don't really care. Because, oh, it's just a game. People will say, that's all they say. It's just a game. It's just a game. Really, people said Skyward Sword is just a game, but you got the freaking meme. Jeez. You got that I took an error to the knee meme. A G. Just G. How just how dumb. Anyways, we're gonna come across something I quite enjoy. The blowhole. And it's return of the water music from Donkey Kong and aw oh, crap. Oh, aw oh, crap. Ah, uh, that's death number two, because talking about Zelda made me die. I hate you, IGN. You made me die. That death was actually quite weird. I've never done that before. I'm not gonna mess with that crab. Wow. Don't know how I died, but, uh... Eh, death run. Oh, I think I was trying to trying to get the coins here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get the coins for this. Oh crap. Must hurry. Oh hurry, yeah. I'm surprised I actually made it that far. But gee, if you want a real game, try playing, well, well, but then you're going to look at all these people, I'm going back to the Zelda topic, then when you look at Ocarina of Time, you're going to see people who are Link to the Past fans, and like, oh, without Link to the Past, uh, Ocarina of Time wouldn't exist. That is true. I mentioned that in my LP before, that without a Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time would not exist. But since I since Nintendo has a weird timeline, you never know anymore. Now, I just find that quite crazy. That it's just insanity. I just, I don't know, man. Games have changed a lot. Maybe it's because they're trying to do something that will appeal to the younger gamers out there. 
Like, everyone will have Mario, people will have Kirby and all that. There's nothing wrong with it, mind you, but it's just... I mean, come on. You cannot compare Ocarina of Time to anything. You really can't. It's like you can't compare Skyrim to Zelda. They're both great franchises. Oh, I missed the end. Oh well. The end isn't worth it. Needy. No. Oh, I think I got it. Oh. Make it. Yay. Yeah. Oh. Puzzle pig. Crap. I missed the puzzle piece, but I didn't miss the life. Strangely enough. And I spelled cog again. Gee. And we're gonna count down. Three, two, one. And... Bananas! Jesus! And I didn't get all the puzzle pieces either. I died because of an error. Yay. And we're gonna go on to a favorite level of mine, Tidal Terror. Yay! <clears throat> Speaking of Let's Plays, I'm thinking about doing a side Let's Play to this because I found out if you have more content, then more people will be prone to subscribe to you, which is actually a true fact. Because a lot of people that I've known that aren't really, that don't actually have a lot of subscribers, they put out videos non-stop. And whenever they put videos out, whenever they put more out, they have a bigger chance to like get a subscription. Bah! Yay, got the K for OK. Oh crap. Oh, I didn't die. Yeah. People are probably gonna be asking me why I like this level. And it's because they use the 3D aspect a lot. They use the 3D environment to match up. But what I don't like is that you die in cheap ways. Sometimes. Whoa. Usually here. Puzzle piece. Um, it's gone. Oh well. Puzzle piece. I keep calling it puzzle piece. It's a damn jiggy. If, you, if some people don't know what a jiggy is, play Banjo Kazooie. Then you'll probably have a, a vague idea of what Banjo Kazooie is and what jiggies are. Oh no. Oh, that was easy. Jiggy. Yay. And oh crap! I thought I would. I thought I would die down. Oh, piggy. Well, at least that pig didn't die or kill me or whatever. Whatever works. I'm thinking puzzle piece. One more puzzle piece and you will be free. Aw, oh, crap. Oh. oh, sweet, I actually made that. The old jump. Kill all the crap, thank you. Oh boy. And yay, the last puzzle piece. There's nothing wrong with having a lot of puzzle pieces or jiggies. Oh, no, 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 cheap for death! <sighs> I gotta get that K all over with that ditty. Great. This is where I die. All thanks to IGN. Thanks. You gave us Greg, who really sucks at giving his opinion, and everyone loves him like a teddy bear, whatever you think of.
Something sweet and cuddly, kill it. Because Greg, eh, he doesn't have really good opinions, and people just despise the guy. I don't know why. I just think it's hilarious. Because IGN has given really good games, or say something that's... Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Death number four. Great, three deaths in this video. Wow. Three deaths. Now it, that leaves us four. Despite those three, that leaves us with four. Make it five, I will probably uh, lose it here. But anyways, like IGN is prone to give good games bad reviews. Like, here's just an example. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. They gave that game a 7.5. And people are saying, hey, that's not really a bad review. Oh ho 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 ho. You say it's not bad, but you have to hear what why it got a 7.5. Pretty much they they just didn't like the basic gameplay. And the reason why it's because it's too easy. And so, difficulty and gameplay are a negative. Why? They're not really negative. The reason why people did not like Epic Yarn because it was not a Kirby game. I mean, think about it. How can you make Kirby's Epic Yarn a Kirby game? It's. I mean, Kirby doesn't have his abilities, he has nothing. And I did a Let's Play of Return to Dreamland, which will probably be somewhere on the screen right now. Yeah, just click that link right there and you'll go to my um, link to the... Eh, my Kirby State Return to Dreamland Let's Play, or if you want to go to Link to the Past, just look on the side if you want to. And we're going to come to the boss, Pinching Pirates. Why are they pinching? It ain't St. Patty Day. No one's getting drunk. No one's getting crunk either. Oh, crab. How I loathe thee. Because of you, I got hives. <laughs> Weird wear sound of that. <laughs> Time to get thy vengeance on the crab. That was easy. Usually I'm hoping for more jazzy music. There you go. Ow! No, Diddy! I lost Diddy. Oh, this this will be hard with that Diddy. Why? You'll see in a minute. Knock you over! That's why. Eh, if I can get that- Oh, I actually got him on the lucky shot. I will say, what I just did was lucky. Oh, that, that's close. I thought I took a life. And they're shaking my head. No, do not kill me. <laughs> they're just shaking their head no. And every time I die, like get hit, they're like, yay, Kit, do it again. Amuse us. Creepy guys. Creepy. Creepy! Ow. Damn. Uh, damn it. I missed. Though I missed. And the phone is ringing and I'm not going to get it. I ain't getting you, phone! What part of that do you not get? No phone. Oh, yay. Crab is destroyed, but my hives are still there. Rah. 
It's like he's like, I will get you. Yeah, I always want to say dead at the time that they died. Like, oh, I'm going to get you dead. Thank you. Now I can go pull out ape shit on him. Twenty-two hits. That sounds good. And your ship base thing is dead. Well, there's the third world. Already. The ruins. And we'll do the first one, which is Wonky Waterway. Let's go. Love the environments in this but this world actually is awesome they kind of they kind of continue from the beach Please, gee, whatever you want to call it see it kind of like takes from the beach because the beachy environments it's awesome ah chicken you die ah oh, I could have gone for another coin there we go. Easy as that. Ah! I'm trying to, uh, kind of a retarded way to do that, but oh well. Uh, uh, ow! You killed Diddy. You will die. And I see something. Three candles and a switch. Pull the switch. Puzzle piece. Eh. Both the same. I want my ditty back. I don't want my baby back ribs. I want my ditty back. I hear ditty. But am I going to get him yet? Just about. I'll be there in a second, ditty. Actually, crap. I could have used him here. Wah. Wah. Yeah, I could have used Diddy here, but my I didn't think it through. <sighs> I hate that I don't think things through. And because of that, it's taking forever! No! Oh, lucky. 5.5 seconds. Yay! Alright, now we're gonna go get Diddy. Yay. Bah. Oh, crap. No, give me back my ramp. I forgot to jump. And there's Pig. Ah. Wah. Nice try, Screaming Pillars. Oh, if you want to know a little trivia about this, um... In Mario Kart 7, yes, in Mario Kart 7, those enemies that I just killed are there. Gee. They're in the Donkey Kong Country map. Or racetrack. And the little drum tiki's. Not these. No, not especially not those. I'm trying to see if I can find one. I think I killed one a few minutes ago. Alrighty. Uh, th this doesn't really remind me of Moria that much, or Lord of the Rings much. It kind of reminds me of the music, the amusement park that you always want to go to, but you can't go because uh, you never go out much. Baby chicken. Oh wait, no, no, no! Take that back, naked chicken. 
And there's another platform. Another thing that always gives me either lot items or something I don't need. Okay, those enemies. The screaming pillars. And another puzzle piece. Ah, uh, it killed the enemy I wanted to show. Damn. I hate that it does that. I think they show these too. But I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna try to go for a life here. No! Ah, Diddy! Damn. Diddy. Alright, I will try it without Diddy. Wah. 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 Ah. Ah. No! And there was a puzzle piece way over there. You know, yeah, forget it. Diddy had to go and die on me. You know, hearing me talk to myself while recording this, I kind of wish I had someone to play this with because ew. playing this alone, it, it's a good thing. It kind of helps me with my editing and all, but. I rather have someone to play this with and actually enjoy the game with that person, have some commentary to bounce back and forth to each other. That would be fun. But we're going to save that discussion for another day as we pretty much go on to the next episode. For uh, So next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Retards, we will pretty much go to Button Bash. If you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe, and don't hate me for taking my opinion about IGN and all that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Empty. So, like my Facebook and Twitter page, and ask me questions on Form Spring, and you get the drill. So, until then, this is Lovey Armstrong. Keep it Armstrong one and all, and I'll see you all next time on this insane Let's Play. Bye.